Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion, and you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Ah, my thanks, great champion. fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you? Once more, the blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held? Regardless? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. My dear, might I? ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you, and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Then good day to you, my dear. who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number, unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Well, 
What have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Did you need something else? Did you need something? Finally, it is returned to its rightful place, the stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin. The Exalted, we who humbly live in death, live in waiting, to one day welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise, the Lord of the many and the meek.
Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. Da... Da... Rich...
There you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. I see. Then you must kill me, for I am the companion of Godwin, Prince of Death. I wish to be a mother to those who live in death. So it is that any loathing, any hatred that overshadows them, I must bear as a matter of duty with my own flesh. Go on, kill me. You deny us, do you not? Because we deign to live in death and wish our Lord to rise to glory. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a Hallowbrand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it. Before the time comes we receive our Lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second, illustrious life. You are my our true champion and though i can't be of any use to you can i hold you tight if only for a moment i will soon lay with godwin and it will surely stir within me the new life of the golden prince and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. I will soon lay where to conceive my child, the rune. Brandish my rune. Stay the Percy by becoming. This is goodbye, my dear, but I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will, not the remains of one chosen for me, and I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? This is good, but I am so I choose and I will be willing in what greater bl
a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order, the Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, O oh Prince. Look at this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The Golden Order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of the Duskborn.